His name is Kit Salisbury. To date, in a tremendous display of broad knowledge and good luck, he has defeated 21 opponents and has amassed in cash and prizes a total of $100,450. How much longer will his winning streak continue? We'll find out in a moment as, from Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Joe. And now, here's our host, Wade Martindale. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome to Tic-Tac-Toe. We're delighted to have you with us once again to uh, say hello to our current champion who is obviously doing extremely well on our show. One of the best players we've had in a long, long time. One of our all-time winning champions. Here he is, Charlie, if you will. Our current champion, whose winnings total in cash and prizes, $100,450, is the winner of the Tic-Tac-Toe West Palm Beach Contestant Search. He's a store manager whose interests include genealogy. Meet Kit Salisbury. Kit, welcome back. Nice Thanks. to see you again. Uh, I guess of all the prizes that uh, you have won on the show so far, most of it's in cash, but the, the trip seemed to elude you. Uh, you had chances to go to Australia. You had a chance uh, to go to Europe. And <laughs> two chances those, for Two Europe. chances to go to Europe. I'm glad you pointed that out, Kit. Funny how we forget when trips fly by us. But you would like to win a nice trip. I uh, sure would. If you had your choice of trips of anywhere in the world, where would it be? Oh, definitely England. England? Mm -hmm. I don't know the what's ancestral homeland. I got you. I don't know what's coming up next in our prize package. We'll find out in a moment when we ask Charlie. But come over here and let's beat the dragon together, huh? Right here. There we go. Get behind these numbers, of various amounts of money. We have a tick, we have a tack, and we have a dragon. Reach $1,000 or more or get the tick and the tack. And Mr. O'Donnell, what indeed do you have for this fella? Well, Kit, we'll treat you to vacations at two different elevations. First, Kit, you'll have your head in the clouds when we send you 6,000 feet up in the Sierras for a ski trip at lovely Lake Tahoe, a breathtaking resort area located in Northern California and Nevada. Site of some of the best skiing and scenic slopes, where you'll be surrounded by nature in a relaxing resort atmosphere. While there, you'll stay at Del Webb's High Sierra Casino Hotel at magnificent Lake Tahoe with 500 luxurious rooms, gourmet dining, and warm Western hospitality. And you may enjoy three days of skiing at one of America's largest ski resorts, that's Heavenly Valley, located at the south shore of beautiful Lake Tahoe. Then you can bring along your equipment in this great sports luggage. A selection of rugged and tough, lightweight sports luggage from Outdoor Products, featuring the double ski bag and boot bag of Cordura Nylon by DuPont, furnished by Outdoor Products. Next, we'll let you down easy, down to sea level, so you can use this stylish swimwear. His and her active and daytime sportswear by Catalina, combining fresh good looks and richly textured easy care fabrics, appropriate for any sport and leisure activities, fashioned by Catalina. And finally, kid, you'll take a dip in refreshing tropical waters on your vacation in idyllic Puerto Vallarta. Enjoy the ideal climate of Mexico's beautiful beach resort, playground for young romantics and sun seekers, sightsee in the beautiful countryside and meet the charming people on a trip you won't want to miss. We'll fly you via Western Airlines wide-body jet from Los Angeles to Mexico City. You can count on Western for warm hospitality and friendly service in flight. Furnished by Western Airlines. While there, you'll enjoy a week at Posada Vallarta in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Exclusive white beaches and private pools amid 25 acres of beautiful gardens. Continental dining, entertainment, and dancing furnished by Posada Vallarta. This elevation's package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,800. A nice elevation package. Let's cover them up, move along, and get started. Now, let's see. Oh, it's the same group as uh, on yesterday's show. You brought them all back. They did so well yesterday. I got to keep going. I, I know why your wife always shows up. She's keeping an eye on the money. And she drives a new car in and out of here every day. Who else is here? Would you introduce your guests? Yes, her cousin, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. And Deborah's fiance, Sam. Hello, Sam. Who's going to start? Uh, I, I think Deborah's on Deborah, a roll. You are definitely on a roll from the last show. You did well. What do you want to start? Number one, right at the beginning. Here we go. Looking behind number one, we find $250. $750 more, and you got the elevation package Charlie described. Two. Who calls his own shot? Number two. Knocking out number two, picks up $100. Right. Let's see. Uh, to go. Number four. Number four. Moving down to number four for 300 more. All right, gang. Move $350. Number seven. Number seven. Moving down the slot to number seven, we find 
500, you win the elevation package. All right. Who picked number seven for you? Uh, well, it was, uh, I did. It, it was, uh, I did, yeah. I think it was a consensus out there among the three. All right, where was the dragon? Three, five, six, eight, and nine. The man definitely has a roll going now. He's won two in a row with the big mean monster. He was behind number six. Your total in cash and prizes now, Sir Kit, from West Palm Beach. Notice I'm calling him Sir now. $104,400. He's going to be going to Puerto Vallarta and to skiing at uh, Lake Tahoe. We'll be back in a moment to see what's in the offering for him next time. Let me just point this out. Kit knows this well. He's won four of these. But if you beat five opponents in a row on Tic-Tac-Toe, you win this nice gift. Charlie? It's a brand new car. Here's the wagon just equipped with luxury features like air conditioning, AMF, and stereo tinted glass and roof rack, plus the confidence of Select Drive, the all-service four-wheel drive system furnished by American Motors. And now back to you, Wink. Well, Charlie said at the top of this show, how long can it continue? Let's find out if Kit can beat the next opponent. Who do we have, Mr. O'Donnell? Well, Wink, she's a lieutenant in the Air Force, and her interests include flying and reading. Meet Nell Scott. Hello, Nell. Welcome to our show. Shall I call you Nell or Lieutenant? Nell. All right, Nell. <laughs> what do you do in the Air Force? I'm a shuttle spacecraft launch engineer at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Pardon moi? What is that? <laughs> We're responsible for testing the satellites that are manifested to be launched on the space shuttle from Vandenberg. And what do you test them for? Well, you're talking about satellites that are worth tens of millions of dollars. And we want to make sure that every system in that satellite works and there's no problem. Well, Nell, as you would say, all systems are go here. We're ready to play. First, let me ask you if you have anybody in the audience that we might say a quick hello to. I sure do. Who do you have? Well, I've got my fiancé, Bill. Hello, Bill. <laughs> anybody else? No, that's, that's it. That's enough, isn't it, that's Nell? The right, all right. Congratulations to you. Now let's take a look at the subject. We're dealing with subjects like take a letter, feet seesaw, drop out, aquatic biology, potluck pictures, opponent's choice, one word name, the jump in category, and news of the 1980s. Kit, if you'll begin, we're ready. I'll take potluck picks in the center. Please. In the center, we're $300, two-parter. Take a look at this picture, Kit. These are the chemical symbols for two elements that are vital to the human body. I want you to take a few extra seconds and then name them both. <laughs> Two chemical symbols, two elements vital to the human body. What are these symbols? First, oxygen. Right. Zinc. You got it. Center box is yours. Oxygen and zinc, the two chemical symbols, meaning he puts an X in the center box. We place $300 in the pot. Now he's starting out the same old way as a winner. All right, see if you're up to the challenge, Nell. Where would you like to put your first O? Okay, I think I'll put my first O and potluck picks in the right-hand corner. All righty, then take a look at this picture, Lieutenant. These two <laughs> pals starred in the longest-running cartoon show in primetime history. I want you to give me their first name. Barney. Yes. Fred. You got it. <laughs> Barney Rubel and Fred Coolstone. All right. Good way to begin, Nell. So we put an O in potluck pictures. We shuffled $500 on the game kit. Select. Well, let's try potluck picks once again. Third time in a row, look at this picture kit. This is the flag of a friendly nation. Name this country. Canada. Right. Finishing to our north. The maple leaf of Canada. So we place another X in potluck pictures. We shuffle. Nell, back to you. Well, wink for the block, I'm going to have to take news of the 80s in the bottom center. All right, for a vertical block, in February 1984, the eyes of the world were focused on the tiny European village of Sarajevo as athletes from 49 nations competed in the 14th Winter Olympics. For a block, in what country is Sarajevo located? It's in Yugoslavia, wink. You have the block. Very good. Sarajevo, Yugoslavia. Let's jump into categories again. Moving around, $700 pot. Kit, please. One word names in the lower right. Please. First time, one word names. In 1956, this movie monster with a one word name nearly destroyed Tokyo in his first film appearance. He's a radioactive, fire-breathing dinosaur, often called the king of the monsters. Name him. Godzilla? You got it. Godzilla. One word names. This one, Godzilla. Put him next there. 
More money into the pot takes the value to $1,100. Godzilla is mean, but he's not as mean as our monster can be. Nell? Well, Wink, I'm going to have to block again with dropouts in the upper left-hand corner. For a diagonal block, this rock and roller named Huey dropped out of college, intending to start his own landscaping company. He found the life of a musician more to his liking, and with his band, The News, he has recorded hits like The Heart of Rock and Roll. For a block, name him. Huey Newton? No, that's incorrect, Now It's Huey Lewis. Huey Lewis, the answer. He was the dropout we needed there. We still have one, two, three, four boxes left. We shuffle in the pot. $1,100. Kip. Okay, I'll take the jump-in category to win. I'll read this jump-in question to both of you. Whoever buzzes in first gets the chance to answer the question. Kit, if you jump in first and answer correctly, you'll have a diagonal tic-tac-toe, your 22nd win. You'd pick up $1,300, and that would give you $105,700. Nell, if you jump in, you answer correctly, and you'll have a successful block. This is the question. This city is the fourth largest in the United States. It served as the U.S. capital. Kit? Philadelphia. You have tic-tac-toe. <laughs> That's it, Philadelphia, PA. Fourth largest city in the country. It served as the U.S. capital during, that's where you buzzed, most of the Revolutionary War. And on July 4th, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was signed there. My question was to name it. Kit did it early on, Philadelphia. For your 22nd win, you picked up the agonal tic-tac-toe and have won now in cash and prizes, including four automobiles, $105,700. Kit Southfield from West Palm Beach. Well, Nell Scott, what can I tell you? You might have lost here, but you're sure winning a good-looking guy out in the audience. Right, Nell, so, so all is not lost. <laughs> Nell, you win a couple of nice prizes from us, and our thanks for being with us on the show. Keep up the good work. We'll be back. In just a moment. Okay, before we uh, go take on the dragon again, Kit, I want to announce that, uh, and this should come as uh, a nice piece of news for you, because it's quite an honor. Kit Salisbury of West Palm Beach, representing WPTV as our contestant search winner, has just become, with his last winnings, the tenth biggest winner of all time on Tic Tac Doe. Congratulations, Kit. Now let's try to beat the dragon. Come on over. That must be kind of nice for you to know that, huh? Come over this way just a little bit. We want everybody to be able to see you. But a moment, the dragon will jump around. First, uh, first business first. Charlie, what will he win if he beats the old mean monster this time around? Well, Kit, if you can beat the dragon, you'll be able to hold each of these gifts right in the palm of your hand. First, Kit, you'll have a handy means of communication with a convenient cordless phone. Select with a gift certificate from J.T.'s General Store. Select from fashions, housewares, and much more in the J.T.'s General Store Fall 84 in-home shopping catalog. Next, you'll hold implements of beauty and value, this elegant silverware. For truly elegant dining, this lovely Michael C. Fina Company silver plate flatware. 68 pieces in a deluxe drawer chest from the silver collection of Michael C. Fina Company. Then right in your hand will be a way to record fond memories forever. This compact camera. The Agfa Compact 35mm motorized camera with snap-on flash plus a year supply of Agfa chrome film with processing from Agfa Gavert preferred by those who know. And finally, kid, here's a gift worth $1,300 that you won't hold in your hand for long before you slip it on your special lady's finger. It's this brilliant diamond ring. <laughs> from Premix Jewelry, a beautiful 14 carat yellow gold ring featuring a round diamond for center stone and surrounded by four marquees. Amethyst and four full cut diamonds, a ring, wear it with pride from Cremens. This right in the palm of your hand package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,450. You ready? I'm ready. All right, the dragon will jump around a bit, find a place, stop, hide, and we don't want to find it. That's the idea. How well you know, how well you know. He's beaten you many times. I feel you're lucky. You want to go to Susan or what? I think I better let Susan pick this one. Susan, what's your lucky number to begin with? Number two? What do we find behind Little Deuce on the board? Top center, we find $150. Very well done. Six. Number six. Looking at six. Lucky six. Is it lucky? $100. You need $750 more. Okay, this one is for 
three. Number three, he said one, she says three. Three hundred dollars, hundred dollars a point. Getting closer. Down on the camera, jewelry, the silver flatware, the chest, the gift certificate. Five. Number five, you need four hundred and fifty dollars. Do you find it behind five? Not quite. That or four fifty. They feel like eight is awfully good at this point. For Tacker, four hundred and fifty dollars. You got it. Dragon defeats in a row on your side of the ledger. Very well done. Let's go out. Uh, Susan, Susan, you really have a role going here. What number would we find the dragon behind? What do you think? Number four. This time you want it. Let's see if she's right. Was it behind number four? She says yes. She's right. Okay, we look at the rest of the board just to show you that everything was up there and in order. You have now won, including this prize package, $109,200. $800 away from $110,000. If you'll move over there, Chip, we'll see if you can keep this streak going. Tenth biggest winner of all time. Here is his next challenger. Originally from England, he's a consultant and writer who also speaks ten languages. Meet Reggie Sevayega. Hello, Reggie. Name White. Reggie, nice to have you with us. You are from England. How long have you been in the United States? I've been here for ten years, sir. Did I hear Charlie say that you speak, what, 10 different languages? 10 different languages, yes, sir. That is very, very impressive. I like that. Uh, you speak a little. You forgot English, by the way. What, tell me, tell me the one, uh, what do you speak? All right, the languages I speak are the Romance languages. I speak Portuguese, Italian, I speak French, and I speak Spanish. I speak German, I speak Russian, I speak a dialect of uh, Chinese, Romanian, Serbo-Croatian, and Swahili. Swahili? Yes. Can you give me an example of Swahili? Uh, What'd you say? I'm glad to be here on Tic Tac Do. Well, we're glad to have you here too, aren't we, folks? Reggie, welcome. Good luck. Let's play the game now, shall we? Look at the board. Subjects to suitable titles, trivia challenge, action films, poetry, names the same, top ten, famous <laughs> sites, bonus category, and the stage. Get... I'll go with my favorite, the bonus category. The bonus category. Put it up there, he'll take it. The subject of this bonus question is national... Parks. This is a three-parter. Answer all three parts correctly, and you immediately get another turn. I'll name three of America's national parks, and you tell me in which state each park is located. One, Crater Lake. Two, Grand Teton. Three, Kings Canyon. Starting with first things first. Crater Lake, what state? Oregon. Yes, Grand Teton. Wyoming. Yes, Kings Canyon. Utah. No, California. Kings Canyon, California. Let's move the categories around. Reggie grabs his heart. <laughs> he seldom loses on those. Reggie, it's your turn. You can jump out in front. I'm going to go on the upper corner up there with bonus category. He's going to try the same strategy against Kit. Reggie, the subject of the bonus question is movies, as you know. Answer all three parts of this question directly, and you immediately get another turn. The series of movies called The Road Pictures all featured these same three stars on the road to unusual places like Zanzibar, Valley, and Utopia. I want you to name all three stars of the popular road pictures. Go. Bing Crosby. Yes. Bob Hope. Yes. And Dorothy Lamour. You got it. <laughs> so we put it over there. We shuffle the categories, and you immediately get another turn, Reggie. Two hundred dollars in the pot. What do you like? I'm gonna go with bonus category. Stay with a good thing. All right, Reggie. Answer all three parts, and you know what happens. You get another selection. The subject is detectives. Detectives. I'll name three famous fictional detectives, and you name the authors who created them. Mike Hammer, Sam Spade, and Hercule Poirot. All right, let's start with Mike Hammer. Who created him? Mickey Splane. Yes. Who created Sam Spade? Uh, Sorry, time's up. Dashiell Hammett. Yes, I have. And uh, Hercule Poirot, Agatha Christie. Christie. So you still have your 1-0 up there. You're out in front, $200 in the pot. We will return in a moment. That last one kind of threw you a little bit, huh, Reggie? Yeah, you know, I got kind of stupid on that one. <laughs> no, not stupid. You played the game very well, Reggie. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Nice to Thank see you. you. Thank you. Kit, he's using some of your strategy, huh? I know. Yeah, going for that bonus category, that uh, three-parter. Well, you got to feel good, though, about the way things are going. I sure yourself. do. Gee, it's been a good day for you. 109000 $200 in charity prizes. Four automobiles. 
funny. I walked over here a minute ago and I said, uh, oh, by the way, Reggie, you have met Kid. He says, oh, yes, I think I know who he is. Welcome. We'll see you both back here for the next show, and we hope to see you, too. We always like to welcome you to join us. See you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Tic-Tac-Toe is a Jack Barry and Tannen Wright production.